here with his take on stocks and commodities. We have Ori Lonsman. Ori used to oversee about $4 billion at ING Investment Management as the head of the Global Growth Fund. Now his hedge fund, Platinum Partners, is posting impressive returns, including 20% gains in 2009. Ori, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Good to be here. So as I said, you are expecting or you were expecting a little bit of a sell-off in September. Okay, today you're right. What happens next? Uh, I, I still expect it. Um, what may have changed because of last week's strength is how low it will go this month. So previously I would thought that 950 on the S&P was a very realistic target for September, first week of October. I probably raised that to about 1,000 now, but I still think we're going to drop from what had been about 1105 on Friday's close down to somewhere around the 1,000 range sometime in the next four or five weeks. Why do you expect the market to drop? I mean, I'm sure that you've seen the headlines just as we've seen them that, you know, large dividend paying high quality stocks are as cheap as they've ever been. Stocks are very cheap and that's one of the reasons why I'm bullish in the fourth quarter. Short term, however, I still see a lot of risk aversion in the market. The chances for bad economic data the rest of the month I think are high, despite the fact that the numbers that we saw last week were very strong. Is this that the investor sentiment is always looking for bad news when it comes to the economy and we've got to wait to get some maybe third quarter results from corporations in order to see stocks start to move up? Well, that's kind of what I think. Interestingly, investor bearishness right now would generally be a bullish signal for the market, and it's one of the things I'm counting on in the fourth quarter. But I think until we get the catalysts in the fourth quarter, I think that no news or so-so news will cause people to take profits and sell and make what admittedly are cheap stocks today even cheaper by the second week of October. How important are the November midterm elections to an investor's thesis right now? I think they're very important. It's sort of one of the three big catalysts I'm looking for in the fourth quarter. I don't think it makes a difference whether Republicans or Democrats are, are in charge. I think both parties are, um, you know, completely corrupt. But what's good is when there is two parties being represented. So the fact that the White House, the Senate, and the Congress are all Democratic right now is very negative from an investment standpoint. Uh, a House victory by the Republicans, which I think is very likely, will create gridlock in Washington for the next two years. And that's exactly what the stock market wants. Does the stock market want to go up? Because if you take a look at what's happening to bond yields, it seems as though more and more investors are shunning stocks and just going out and buying bonds. Right. And I think that's going to be another one of the catalysts, meaning, you know, as the, the yield on the on, the, on government bonds go towards 2 percent, you have to ask yourself, you know, what investor in their right mind would want to lend money to the United States government with a 2 percent return on it? And I think people are going to eventually understand that as as risk tolerance grows. I think they're going to move back into what are very, very cheap uh, stocks right now, both on a P basis and a price to cash flow basis. Do those inexpensive stocks uh, also mean that you're focused on energy? Because it seems as though at 70, 71, 73 dollars a barrel for crude, it just doesn't seem to want to go lower. And yet everyone is talking about the possibility that the economic growth is going to be muted. You know, I think that oil crude is probably going to trade in a $60 or $100 range over the next probably, I don't know, let's say 16 months. Um, therefore, at 70, that's a pretty attractive uh, upside downside reward scenario. Uh, we're seeing a lot of opportunities in energy. Um, there's a lot of companies out there making very interesting acquisitions. We think that there's money to be made in the oil patch right now. Oil offshore or onshore, or you're not making a distinction? You know, both. Um, um, clearly, I think we have some of the same aversions to deep sea offshore that uh, other people do post the BP disaster. So shallow offshore and onshore, both natural gas and oil. All right. I want to thank you very much, Ori Lonsman, coming and sharing your view with us. Maybe there's going to be a sell-off in September, but watch out for the fourth quarter. That's when you're bullish. Thank you.